In this video, you're going to see 13 tools for keyword research that are free to use and will help you a lot if you have a limited budget. Before showing you the list, let me address one concern you might have about these tools not being good enough. In most cases, paid tools for keyword research are better and have more data. However, there are a bunch of tools that don't cost a penny and have reliable data. A prime example of that is Google Search Console. This tool is the best free keyword research tool if you already have content on your site. Let's start exploring it and talk about accidental keywords. As you publish more content on your site, Google can rank it for a bigger set of keywords, some that you may have targeted and some that you may have not. And we call this the accidental keywords. To find these keywords, I suggest you go to the performance report and filter by clicks or impressions. This way you can focus on the keywords that can have the biggest impact. Now you should start looking for keywords that you don't recognize or didn't target on your content. These are the keyword ideas you can add to existing content or use to create new pieces. Another good use of Google Search Console for keyword research is looking at the keyword impressions. Because this data comes directly from Google, it will be more accurate than search volume from third-party tools. For example, a third-party tool might say a keyword has 1,000 searches per month, but Google Search Console can show you a different number like 5 or 10,000 searches per month, sometimes higher, sometimes lower. This is the power of first-party data and why you should rely on Search Console impressions when you have the data available. The next tool on the list is incredibly popular as well. I'm talking about Google Ads Keyword Planner, a tool for advertisers that has some use for SEOs. This explains why so many keyword tools use it as a data source. To start getting keyword ideas, open the Keyword Planner from the Tools and Settings. Here you want to select Discover New Keywords, enter your seed keywords, one or two usually is enough, then select the language and country you want to see the information for. Google Ads will now show you the list of keywords you provided at the top and the list of keyword ideas below it. It also shows the average monthly searches in a range. In this case, the Pokemon Cars keyword has between 100,000 and 1 million monthly searches. It also shows the percentage of change in the last three months and the year-on-year -year change percentage. This helps you know if the keyword is getting more or less popular. The Keyword Planner can also show you the cost per click for keywords. This is important to estimate the commercial intent for the keyword. The higher the CPC, the more lucrative the keyword usually is for advertisers. You can also refine the searches by including brand keywords or excluding them. Another option is using filters to include or exclude keywords. For example, you can exclude keywords with a low CPC to only look at keywords with high commercial intent. Google Trends is another Google product that's pretty useful, completely free, and shows first-party data. To start a search, enter a topic or keyword you're interested. In this case, I'm going to search for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Here, Google Trends will divide the page into four sections. Interest over time, interest by region or sub-region, related topics, and related queries. This last section is the most important part of Google Trends regarding keyword research. Here Google shows other queries that people searching for the current topic also search for. In my case, it shows related queries to the 2022 World Cup. One important thing to notice is that this growth is related to the period selected. So if I select the past 12 months, it shows some keywords, but if I select the last 90 days, it might show completely different keywords that are trending. This section usually don't show growth percentages because these queries are either new or had very little search as before. Another use of Google Trends is showing data for other Google products, like Google Images, Google News, Google Shopping, and YouTube. This is interesting to know if a topic or product is getting more or less popular in a certain area of search. You can use this data to guide your content production process. For example, if you have an article on your blog for a topic that's getting more popular on YouTube, you can decide to create a video about it. The last Google product I'm going to talk about is Google Search. Google itself is a fantastic tool for keyword research that a lot of people overlook. You should start entering your seed keywords in the Google search box to find keywords with Google Autocomplete. As you type, Google will start suggesting phrases they know people search for. Note these keyword ideas down as they appear and later use them to create new articles or add new sections to existing pages. A popular method is the alphabet soup where you enter your seed keyword plus every letter of the alphabet to get 
keyword suggestions for that letter. For example, I'm using apple pie and I'm going through all the letters in the alphabet and I can save these keywords appearing on the screen for keyword ideas. Another thing you can try is the wildcard operator. Use the wildcard in the beginning or middle of the seed keywords to get new keyword ideas. After you use these methods, go to the SERP and look into the people also ask box and related queries at the bottom to get more keyword ideas. Keywords Everywhere is a browser extension and one of my favorite keyword research tools that I use almost every day. This extension works really well with Google and will show you data directly in the search results page. I'm talking about a trend graph with the search volume for the keyword, related keywords, people also search for keywords, trending keywords and long tail keywords. This is convenient as you can quickly type one keyword into Google and get a lot of keyword ideas on these widgets. Plus, these keywords are easy to save using the copy and export buttons. Keywords Everywhere also has a growing number of reports that you can use. One that I like is analyzing the keywords on a competitor's page. All this is completely free to use, but if you buy credits, Keywords Everywhere can show you the monthly search volume, cost per click and competition for a keyword. Keyword Surfer is a Chrome extension created by Surfer SEO and is similar to Keywords Everywhere, although they have some differences. The biggest one is that Keyword Surfer shows the search volume and cost per click for the keyword directly in the SERP. Keyword Surfer has search data for more than 70 countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, France, and Germany. Surfer is also good for finding similar keywords. Near each keyword idea, Surfer shows the similarity percentage and the search volume. To save these keyword ideas, select them and when you're finished, go to the collection and download them as a CSV file. Answer the Public is a freemium keyword research tool that uses autocomplete suggestions from search engines. They suggest using one or two seed keywords for optimal results. Then you select the country and language and make your search. Answer the Public will output the results into five groups. Questions, prepositions, comparison, alphabetical and related keywords. They will present you the data in two ways, a chart and a table. On the chart view, a dark color means a higher search volume and a light color means lower search volume. These numbers are relative to each other as the tool doesn't give an exact search volume. You can download the chart image and download as a CSV file as well. Next on the list comes also asked. This freemium tool generates up to 100 keyword ideas from questions taken from people also asked on Google. Also asked is super simple to use as you only need to input your seed keyword, select the language and the country. The main advantage of also asked is that they connect the questions to subtopics, which lets you know other questions associated with the seed keyword. These connections help mostly with two things. First, it helps you understand the search intent for the keyword. When I search for the keyword Pokemon cars, the questions are related to how much money these items are worth. So there is some commercial intent here. The second use is that also ask can help you produce content that's complete and address people's questions. Imagine you want to make an article about how much Pokemon cars are worth. This tool will show you the top questions from people also ask on Google which are probably the most searched topics. And you can also dive deeper by requesting a chart about this keyword. Keyword Cheater is a bulk keyword generator that gets its data from Google Autocomplete. You remember the alphabet soup method I mentioned earlier? Instead of going through the process manually, Keyword Cheater will go through all the letters in the alphabet really quick and show you Google Autocomplete suggestions. Using the advanced options, you can get data for different countries and languages. Another interesting aspect is that you can create positive and negative filters to include or exclude words. For example, I will create a positive filter to only include keywords containing the word in. Ahrefs is a great all-in-one SEO tool, but it comes at a premium price. Fortunately, they have a free keyword generator that generates 100 keyword ideas and 50 questions from a single keyword. This tool doesn't require a sign up and you can use it for unlimited searches. Just input your seed keyword, select the country and request the keywords. Ahrefs will show the search volume for all the keywords, but the keyword difficulty only for the top 10 results. This search volume comes from one of the most used tools by SEOs. 
This keyword generator can also output keyword suggestions and search volume for Bing, YouTube, and Amazon. So if you are interested in those platforms, you can get more granular data. Next up comes Moz, another big player in the SEO industry that offers a free keyword research tool. After you create an account, you will get 10 free searches per month and have access to a lot of data. In the Keyword Explorer, enter your keyword and country. Now, Moz will show the estimated monthly search volume, keyword difficulty, and organic click-through rate. As for keyword ideas, Moz can show up to 1000 keyword ideas and search volumes based on the initial query. So, in theory, you can find 10,000 keyword ideas per month. Another thing you can do is find for how many keywords a competitor's page is ranking for, and you can look into their keywords and see if you find any that interests you. Let's finish this video by talking about two tools that are good for keyword research on forums like Reddit. The first one is QuestionDB, and as the name says, it is great for finding question-based keywords. The tool is a bit similar to Answer the Public. To use it, you only need to insert your seed keywords. The tool recommends you start with a broad keyword like protein powder, instead of a specific keyword like best protein powder for men under 30. The biggest advantage of QuestionDB is that it will show you questions people have, but most keyword research tools say there is no search volume for, which means you can find some keywords that are easy to rank for. QuestionDB also shows related words that are usually mentioned alongside the seed keyword. In my test, I see that words like worth, value, money, and buy are associated with a query, telling me there is commercial intent here. You can use these related topics as keyword variations or long tail keywords. Keyworded is a keyword research tool for Reddit that is great when you need to learn more about a topic. To get keyword ideas, enter the subreddit name and the tool will output keywords related to it. It will also show you the monthly search volume in the United States for each keyword. Additionally, keyword it as a context link that searches on Google using search operators. This is useful to quickly know which posts in this community mention the keyword. Using the export button, you can easily save this list into a CSV file. In their FAQ section, they recommend you only search on subreddits with at least 10,000 members. Otherwise, the tool might not return keyword ideas. As you just saw, there are a bunch of tools that can help you do keyword research for free. And if you want to have access to more than 1000 keywords Google Search Console shows for your site, give SEO testing a try using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.